Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I finally got my mods figured out, so we are on minibase, which I'm looking forward to as just a heck of a challenge. So we just got started, we got our schedule set up. I'm starting to dig out. So I don't... Uh, yeah, so I can't dig that. I can dig sedimentary, but that's granite. It's just weird when you start off and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can't dig. So, bathrooms and water first. Let's, let's, let's go here. Oh, I forgot to make that wide enough for a door. That's fine. I'll put the door there. Oh, I can't dig that. As you guys all remember, you can't dig those opposite two. Bathroom. Oh, well, we got one bed done. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I probably won't get up to eight duplicates for a while. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just looking at this water and that oxalite. That once that oxalite evaporates, that arrow might end up with a mess. I've got some pips running around, some drecos, so I should be able to use those to get plastic fiber and food. But like every start of every game, bathrooms, oxygen, research, food. And a whole bunch of stuff I just can't dig through. I mean, yeah, raw material's nice, but oof, that's annoying. Let's dig that area down, which we'll be able to find out what's in there. Over here is the polluted water vent. Oh, I can't dig through that. I'm like, why aren't I digging this ladder? Because it's already something I can't dig through. Food first. I guess we'll do that and see if we can't come around it.
Right, let's prioritize the bedroom so I can get the morale bonus. My dupes don't immediately start trying to have a revolt and leave. Oh, I can build the micro musher already. Perfect. My goal is to do mealwood into life loaf for a while. And if I find an arbor acorn, then I should be able to have pips create dirt for me. Oh, and we got some plants over here. Nice. the end of cycle two and we got enough beds for everybody and just some shine nymphs running around right, who do we get there's nothing in there all right can't do building can't do researching all you can do is dig. Someone who can't build gets really annoying though. Like the fact that they can immediately start digging the granite's good, but I can't even toss them in a rocket later. I was saying like, oh, I can turn them in, I guess tidying, yeah. So you can immediately do hard digging. And your prior days are gonna be digging, and then you're doing all the tidying. More than likely I'm gonna regret that, and it's going to be a dupe. That dupe is just gonna keep getting stuck. All right, how much of a mess is dropping all this water gonna make? Oh, right, yeah, like you can't. <laughs> like they're not building that ladder, right, because they can't build. Someone else has to come. I guess I just have to tell them to dig it and then build the ladder. Yeah, it's frustrating. There you go. And water. Ooh, not even that much of a mess. Nice. And I can now start using granite. My goal is to have hatches turn all my sandstone into coal because it's horrible to build with. All right, that research is done. Getting into food immediately is going to be important. Supercomputer. I think what I want is food tiles. I need to get rid of that water first. Beauty. I'm trying to keep the pips out of here. No. <laughs> Remember what I said about a dupe getting stuck? Already got stuck. And yeah, you can dig like a mad lad, but you can't build the stuff behind you. There we go, got him out of there. And eight.
Definitely need to find more mealwood seeds. Let's do that, just so that water doesn't accidentally come pouring through. Let's plan ahead over here. I want, have I found any arbor acorns yet? No. Ah. Hopefully I find an arbor acorn. So I definitely want this to be three high. That's fossil, which I definitely want to dig up. I guess we'll go four high. A bit of planning ahead means that like I can actually do what I want. That coal's nice, but I don't think I can plant a tree on sedimentary rock. Alright, so tree goes there. Alright. Think that's right. Sometimes getting pips to plant is just annoying. All right, we are growing some mealwood. Kind of hope to have more by now. Oh, and again, you won't build this until you dig it, so you need to dig it first. Ooh, oxyfern. All right, I saw that. Okay, we've already got one dedicated to doing supplying. We don't have any igneous rock so far. I'm going to make some from the magma. That's going to be a while. Still save dirt. I don't need the dupe. Just supplying isn't good enough. My goal is to dig most of this map down and then compress it all into one place. Pretty darn quick. But let's see if we can't lock that pip in there immediately. And he got stuck again. Nice. Stay in there, Pip. Oh, and you guys can't now build yourself out of there <laughs> in this game sometimes. There, you guys should have some sandstone in there you can get out with. Alright, we got a Pip trapped. Now we just need to find an Arbor Acorn. Hopefully they give me one. All right, more digging is good. Getting you up towards... We have two that can do advanced research. I think I want to advance research first, and then the other one can do cooking. food. Looks like we got about two cycles worth. Did I split them schedule wise? No, not yet. That I need to do. Otherwise they'll all be using the bathroom at the same time and that's bad. And we'll give them an extra downtime. Research. Probably want power next. Oh, I need the rock crusher.
Mm -hmm. Skill point. You, perfect. You're doing researching. You can now do cooking. Supercomputer. We're down to a cycle and a half of food, but these should. I probably got another cycle left before those grow. Yep, and very, very loud meteors. It's, okay. So I will get iron and metal ore out of them once I can get up there. Oh, did you let him out. Yeah, there's food shortage. Let's grow some thimble reed. Yeah, but it's too cold. Oh wait. That an arbor acorn? Yes it is. Nice. Alright, let's uproot all of that. Need a storage bin there. In there. More this tidying, supplying, but decreased resistance. Well, let's go with more food. Sweep everything in there. Oh. And then we want to construct all of this. I think the pip needs to plant that one first. Yeah, that's never going to grow. He ran all the way away. Did you plant that arbory corn? No, it's still there. Yeah, I gotta build a food thing. A carbon dioxide pit for my food to be in. Right, I don't want you in there. God, that's loud. Hopefully I just turn down the in-game sound, so I'm not blowing out anyone's eardrums. Alright, so you, we can deconstruct. Of course, now they close that, and I want to open it because I want the pip to run in there. Yay! Can I close that fast enough? Probably not. They did plant the tree. And we'll see if we find another one. into cycle eight and we're still like a cycle and a half of food and these are we're getting more of them consumables we're going to stop them eating the male lice and in, that's already on priority seven so 
Now we just need a nice place to store the food. squeaks. I don't think I want another dupe right now. Like, I'm gonna want more ranching, but I don't think I need one right now. Shine nymphs, you can't even cook their eggs into anything, so I guess it's another pip. And we can convert this sandstone over. If you take out the tiles underneath the printing pot, it resets it and causes all sorts of issues. I can't even put that there. that we're definitely going to need. Alright, there's no point in tossing a pip up in there until that tree is growing. Food shortage. No, we've got more in the cycle. We're okay. Yeah, that was just them picking it up. So we mop up the water over here. I'll leave that thimble reed growing as long as I can, because free reed fiber is nice. There's all that water. Could probably drown these mealwood, which is okay, because I can plant them somewhere else. Right, here we are, cycle 10. I think we're doing okay. We've got oxygen. We're bouncing around on food, but we're getting there. And more meteorites. Eventually, this should fill up with carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, I know there's unrefrigerated food. We're working on it. Oh, if I do that, then they can't get down. I can need a ladder. Hopefully I get some chlorine out of the printing pod so I can deal with that polluted water vent. And I gotta, gotta, gotta come over and see what this one is too. Okay, we can now dig that, dig that, and mop. Some of my digger not being able to build is actually slowing me down. So I can't build the ladder to get up to where they're supposed to dig. Oh, let's up your priority. And slowly dig this side down. Making progress. Who do we have? Small bladder isn't great. I think I want resources. I think I'm okay on food. 
right? Like I've got a cycle and a half. We've got more about to grow. And I think this map is definitely a resource limiting map. So whenever you get resources you can use eventually, you might as well go grab them. Mop that, yes. And pips are just planting everything everywhere. Alright, so I think my next goal after automation is get the rock crusher going. Yeah, is that what that's supposed to be? Alright, you're almost up to steady two tiles. Haven't found another Arbor Acorn yet. And we still got 3,000 left and we just got some more popping. There's some more meal wood up there. Yeah, so let's get up here and start digging this up. meteorite resources like that'd be great but definitely gonna need some atmo suits before we get to that level A little bit so yeah we're it seems we are on food positive and I can probably expand that all right so next research as soon as this is done is going to be a rock crusher and then I gotta get up to ranching so I can start ranching these pips Get dirt, lumber, and eggs out of them. All right. Automation we've got. Rock crushers up here. I think the printing pot on this is set to two cycles. Nosh beam I don't need. Can't do digging I don't need. I mean, polluted water, I will. Oh, I don't think I've researched that yet. No. Nope. I'm just thinking I can put the deodorizer on there once I research it. Use that as a source of oxygen. That's high enough I can put the smart battery inside of there. I'll probably leave the gerbil wheel so that way the dupes will get their attribute increases. Right, down a little bit. Tons of critters on here, though. Yeah. 
Research is done. That gets me Rock Crusher. Perfect. Now we can get up to ranching. And let's store some coal next to the coal generator. Making progress. 14 cycles in. My dupes haven't died yet. I do like the super speed. Oh, fuck. Who dropped slime in there? Okay. You. Nine. You. Not slime. Boy, that's annoying. All right. Might as well put the polluted dirt and the organic stuff in there. Just the worst place to put slime. Come on, smart battery. Yay, smart battery. Nope, now we need automation. Ooh, definitely ran out of food that time. Nosh beam, no. Ox light. I guess. It's the best of the crap. Ox light down there. Coal there. All right, now we're set on power. Starting to expand food. We have almost two cycles worth. My digger is not doing a great job of digging over here. How are we doing on skills? All right, you, we want to get up towards mechatronics. I don't think I need field research yet, so I want to get you up towards critter ranching. You can help with research or increase farming. Don't really need doctoring, so I might as well do increased strength. prioritize this digging because apparently this person is just going to be slow about it. All that oxalate's gone. And these guys are sucking up all the polluted oxygen. I guess that's helpful. Ooh, George, I just got a bunch of meal lice. I mean, we're holding it just more than a cycle's worth. But I think we've reached a good stabilization point. So yeah, coming up on the end of cycle 16, we've got oxygen, power, temperature's okay. Figure out what that is soon. Yeah, so I think we'll call that good for episode one. Uh, next episode, hopefully we'll start getting into ranching and we'll find another uh, Arbor Acorn. Oh no, I've got them. I didn't even realize it. Perfect. Well, anyway, we'll save that and I hope you all have a wonderful day.